Associated Bank owned a 50,000 square foot former First Federal Bank building in downtown La Crosse, which was being underutilized. As the bank was struggling to find more efficient office space in a tight downtown market, the idea to swap properties came to mind. Ultimately, the county moved out of its administrative building, which will be redeveloped into apartments and into the old Associated Bank building. Associated Bank moved into a new building in Bell Square and has served as a catalyst for a number of new projects in the revitalized downtown La Crosse. So this deal really consisted of three deals. Uh, the county administration building, which is 100,000 square feet, um, had some asbestos issues. The former uh, Associated Bank building, which was about 50,000 square feet, which was way too big for Associated, which would be converted to the county administration building. And then the third deal, which is Bell Square, 2.3 acres on what's known as Lot C, which is redeveloped by Weber Development, was 250,000 square feet of office space, 93 apartment units, as well as street level retail. The major, major challenge on this was the simultaneous nature of this deal. All three properties had to close at the same time. We had short-term sale lease backs on all three properties while the construction happened on Lot C. I think this should be deal of the year because La Crosse is going to see over $50 million in new real estate tax base. Two rival developers got together, worked together to both get the respective deals done for the greater good. The county and the city worked hand in hand to create this TIF, to, to create this development. It was uh, a thing of beauty, the free market working together with just the right amount of government input. Milwaukee Electric Tool was established in 1924 and moved its operations to Brookfield in 1965, where a 19,000 square foot facility housed operations. Since 2009, employment has grown by more than 550 and sales from $500 million to more than $2 billion today. In planning for future growth, it became evident the campus needed to be expanded. Milwaukee Tool, with the approval of the Board of Directors, invested $33 million into a 204,000 square foot, four-story office building adjacent to its current facilities. Milwaukee Tool's expanded headquarters will allow it to become the largest employer in the city of Brookfield. We knew Milwaukee Tool wanted to be on their campus, right next to their existing building. However, the site constraints were such that we couldn't build the building there was not enough green space and there certainly was not enough parking. And the idea was to transfer the development rights from your property over to Milwaukee Tools property. That had never been accomplished in the city of Brookfield in, in their history. It's a very dynamic neighborhood, so we had to work very closely with the neighbors and the city on positioning the building correctly uh, so it doesn't create any light pollution or any noise. This is the Milwaukee Tool headquarters. It's also the, gl the global design, research, and product development uh, center. This was a big win for the city of Brookfield, and it was a big win for the state of Wisconsin. Both the city as well as the state certainly stepped up and were instrumental in maintaining Milwaukee Tool's presence here and allowing them to grow. The Restaurant Depot, a national food wholesaler and restaurant equipment supplier, was looking to move its operations on South 6th Street near General Mitchell International Airport. Owners immediately set their sights on an off-market eight-acre parcel in Bayview, and after five months of negotiations, they obtained the land. Over the next year, the company will demolish the four industrial buildings on that land and build a 66,000 square foot store with 250 parking spaces. So the first significant challenge for the Restaurant Depot deal was finding an actual site that would fit the requirements. Restaurant Depot wanted between a five to eight acre parcel that was located close, in close proximity to the east side of Milwaukee through the Bayview neighborhood. In a mature, mature marketplace like the east side through Bayview, there are very limited parcels of that size. So what we had to do is go on an off-market basis and identify potential candidates that could fit five to eight acres. 
The secondary challenge that we encountered is once we identified the ideal parcel, which was about an eight acre piece right at the corner of First and Beecher, it was now trying to negotiate a deal with a seller that was not motivated to complete a transaction. It was a very creative off-market transaction in which we had to manage client expectations on a daily basis. The next piece, and I think what Restaurant Depot was very proud of, is that they were able to figure this deal out without receiving city assistance, which is important for their business model.